Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm sharing another helpful extension on Google Chrome for supporting executive functioning skills as well as comprehension. And that is a tool called Auto Highlight. So it is a free tool. Just know that whenever there's Google Chrome extensions installed, there's a couple of caveats and things to know. Um, some of these might be freemiums. This is one that is totally free and you might not necessarily be able to freely add this right away, depending on your Google settings. You might have to have Google domain administrators in your district unblock this for you and or your students. So as always, make sure that you test that first before you use this with students. I um, mean, you can easily just go and test that by adding it yourself. Um, and if your district is set up anything like mine, uh, teachers can freely add extensions a little bit more easily than students can. So I would always enter a ticket to request it's unblocked if you think that it's something that your students have had and if it meets privacy standards. So this is a really helpful resource for highlighting content as the name suggests, but it's a little bit more than that. So it's a really great resource if your students might be struggling with lengthier text that they're reading on the web, because what this tool does is it basically you install it, you click it once and it basically pulls out all of the important points from a body of text highlights those, and then you can copy the highlights and move them over into your own Google Doc or whatever platform that you need. So it's kind of like a too long didn't read article summarizer, but it uses highlights to do that. So what I'm going to do is pull up a sample article here. This is from another great educational website, especially for elementary students, if you haven't used this before, and it's called Wonderopolis. So I've pulled up the wonder of the day. They have an article every day and then coming video and activities, but it is flag day. So that is why this one is on here today. Uh, and what you do is you pull this up. Now this website already has a couple things highlighted, but this is something you can use on a variety of different websites. So whenever I have this pulled up, what I'm going to do is open my extension. If you don't see the extension here when you've already pinned it, just know that, or if you've already installed it, I mean, you need to pin it. So you click this little puzzle piece here in the pin button beside it so it's easier for you to access. Once you have done that, you're just going to, you can right click this to see the options here. Um, but if you just click it with your, your left cursor, if you're on a Chromebook, you just click it once. If I click auto highlight, it's going to open this up and show me some of the settings there. But what I'm going to do is just click this extension and it's going to work. It's magic. All right. So click it one more time and it adds even more highlights. So it basically, the number of times you click it kind of determines the threshold there for a few highlights, lots of highlights, a little bit more, but it's working to pull out some of those key features. Whenever I have highlighted all of the content pieces that I need, I'm going to right click here and then there's a button that says copy highlights. This might ask for permission the first time that you do this, but I'm going to click copy highlights. And then what I'm going to do is come over here to Google Chrome. I'm going to open a new do Google doc. So I technically could have done that by docs.new if I would have typed that in my URL bar, but this is a little bit of the slower way. Um, and what I'm going to do is just do paste. All right, so it puts all of those pieces there. Now you do lose your highlights because it pulled out the key info from the highlight, um, but you do have the summary there. So this could be something your students maybe add their own personal notes to, uh, and it just basically makes it a little bit easier for students to di digest and consume. This can be helpful for English language learners that need a level text when maybe there isn't a button available on the website to produce that level text on their own. So you could do that as the teacher or give students the autonomy to do this. It's also helpful for some of your students with dyslexia that might need a level text or something scaled down as well. And even helpful for students who might struggle with executive functioning and might feel um, like they have a lot of struggle in just initiating a task. Maybe that text looks way too intimidating and they won't even dive in and start reading because of the length of it. And this is something that can help support them on that. So if you're looking for comparable resources, there are several out there. There's several websites, Rewordify, Resumer, and then Summary, but you remove the, the U from Summary or other resources you can use for a similar feature set. This is just another option out there on Chrome. If you are a Read and Write for Google customer, you have this similar type of feature already. Um, and it's just the highlight tool, but it's not using artificial intelligence like this one to pull out the article summaries. That's more of just a highlighting tool. So this adds a little bit more feature and fun here. All right. So hopefully you find this one helpful and your students will love it.